the final West Coast prep for the Breeders' Cup Classic. The Grade One, two hundred fifty thousand dollar Goodwood. The older horses going a mile and a quarter on Santa Anita's main track. We're off to the races. Bill sent on their way in the Goodwood. <laughs> Along the inside, Trey Barachos is going for the lead with Preamble now from the inside gate, Coil. So Coil will kick through on the inside to take the lead from Trey Barachos. Preamble right there now. Game on, dude, moving fast on the outside. Game on, dude, going to be forced to go wide. Picture two. Almost got there, Craig. He tries, man. He tries. Awesome gem. Comes up second in the Goodwood. Winner of the Goodwood. It's Game On Dude and Chantel Sutherland hey. for Bob Baffert. I was going to be really pissed if you are. I know. I didn't think you in my head. <laughs> okay, what the heck is Zario doing? Three for three for Game On Do now here on Santa Anita's main track after winning the Santa Anita Handicap earlier this year. No inquiries this time, Bob. That's right. Running style, when you get away from it, he gets me. You know, he doesn't run well, but uh, he likes to get it out there and go. But I, I didn't think the other horse, I don't know, Rosario, he sent his horse out like that. I don't know if he's got away from him or whatever, but, uh, but I told, uh, you know, I, I told Shot Call at all costs you have the lead, and I thought down the backside, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said at all costs, you know, but uh, it's one of those things where. You know, she rides the horse with a lot of confidence, and uh, you know, down to Del Mar, uh, you know, he, we were trying to, you know, I was worried about the synthetic. You know, he wasn't a synthetic horse. You can't do that. And actually, we should have probably gone with acclimation, put him on the lead, and you know, maybe acclimation one to one or whatever. But uh, would have given him a better chance. But you just have to let him run, and that's the way he wants to. Run. Safe to say that Chantal is going to retain the mount moving forward. Yeah, if, if I were to take her off, uh, my wife Jill, she probably wouldn't let me back in the house. So, uh, no, I, you know, I have a lot of confidence, Chantal. You know, once, uh, I, I like a rider that has a lot of confidence in a, in a horse, and she gets him out of the gate well. Uh, he's never been a good gate horse, but she gets him out well, and, you know, she lets him run, and that's what I want from her, you know, just let him run. And so, uh, and she's got a great left hand, and you sit down the stretch. You know, she's, Chantal's tough to get by when she's got the right kind of horse, so. Uh, but I'm happy for all the connections, and uh, it was sort of an emotional win too because we just lost uh, Terry Landon, you know, just recently. So the family were here, so and it has a lot to do with it. Did you feel a sense of redemption considering last time you were here, you had to sweat out an inquiry, and today he left no doubt about it? Well, I mean, it was nice, but down the backside, I thought at the 3 8 spot, it looked like Coyle was just going to, you know, he was going to just <laughs> pick them all up, you know. But he, he ran a great race. He just got a little tired. He still. A little immature, he's learning how to run, but at least he didn't run at that bad race he did it in the Travers. You paying attention to what's been going on around the country because we understand that uh, Bernie kind of wanted to go to New York with the horse, son. Did, did, did you see what happened at the Jockey Club? Yeah, you know what, he wanted to go to New York. I'm glad, I'm glad I stayed here because this horse needs two turns. So one turn, is, it, it's a weird setup in New York. I mean, with the mud today, a lot of horses <laughs> really didn't get to uh, show their stuff, but I mean, it was really, they, it was great races, um, girl years. He missed the break and just well, that was a disaster there. So. The horse got in trouble in front of him, didn't it? Well, what happened is he, he you know, it takes him a couple jumps to get going, and uh, and they came over on top of him right away, and and so he's a big horse. He was having trouble getting away from there, so that was that was pretty disappointing. And uh, but uh, luckily, uh, the the cotillion. Uh, Plum Pretty, yeah. Plum Pretty, she really, oh, yeah. I mean, he, you know, he just let her run, you know, just let her, and he, she's the same way. You gotta let her. She wants to. Be let run, you know, and so you let them go like that. They're those good horses. They just keep going. You broke up a streak today. There were two long, not two hundred, you know, non-favorites winning the fight. Favorite finally won the third race here. You broke the streak. 
Well, I had six steaks in today, and I won two of them. And, uh, <laughs> at least I didn't get the big donut, because sometimes that can happen. <laughs> horses, and why do you stink it up? Well, sometimes maybe I entered the wrong too many horses or whatever. But um, you know, it's disappointing uh, with Euro ears uh, drill. You know, he'll come back. That horse that won, he's a good horse. So uh, you know, so I, I'm not. You know, I drill got a lot out of that race. So um, you know, we you want to win all of them, but at least it'll take a little pressure off of him going into the breeders.